moving over towards A round, but the rest are going for the mid control take. They're going to be met by JW oh. popping from window smokes, covering his view, and they're going to take connector. JW he anticipates the rotate. He's oh, actually he's going to come back behind them from connector. Of course he is because he's JW. Oh well, Navarra's dealt with him nicely at the very very least, and now Golden. Up on the chopping block, gets bought down low. Brolin tried to take a slot in the murder hole, and there's a reason it's called that. This time, though, it might be him doing the murdering. Actually, it's Kiyoshima getting rid of him, making it look easy into this three on four. And now, a little bit of a lull in the action as Fnatic double nading through the murder hole. Still isn't enough to flush Kyo out. This retake is just grinded to an uncomfortable halt. They're, they're hoping that a kill gets given over, but heretics just aren't giving anything up. And in fact, they're more in the business of taking away. It's Crims out from CT, time so low. No defuse kit either. This one's gone for Fnatic, and it's a pistol on the board for heretics. So already looking to break that little drought of rounds that they had back on Inferno as they heat things up here on Mirage. The kit was dropped on top of Ticket. That is the worst spot. That's like, you know, leaving it in heaven on Nuke where your teammates are coming on ramp flanks. That's unfortunate for Fnatic. But yeah, I, Heretics, I, I've been really impressed at the individuals in this series so far. You know, obviously Fnatic are, are, are incredible players individually, but Heretics have been battling back pretty damn well. We saw how the objective got in the way more so than anything back on Inferno, obviously helped out by the, the constant B picks that Golden and uh, JW and Flusher were getting. But, I, you know, Her Heretics are in a really good spot to make this upset happen, I think, especially with it being online. They seem very comfortable in this element. Right now it's Fnatic on an eco. Golden's got a bit of investment, but by and large, waiting with the USPs. Three on A, make it a fourth with JW moving out of the middle, and Heretics are lining up Utility to go for the Execute. <laughs> oh, oh, Golden with another! All right, the Golden Boy of Fnatic is here to play. He's doubled up. Flush has tagged another down with a USP. Golden in with a third. And now it's all on Maka. The eco streak in this series might be set to continue unless Maka can ace 1v5 to keep heretics in this second round. I, I don't know, man. I don't know anymore. What even is Counter-Strike? These vanilla pistols have been doing it time and time again. Now, credit where credit is due. A lot of that is golden this time with the one deeg in the server. He's on three. Maka, 40 seconds. They spot him now. They know and Flusher swings out wide to finish it off with the Oosp. It's Fnatic tying us up at one to one. Golden literally turns... No, guys, don't worry, don't worry. I'll, I'll win this round. I'm forcing. Like, Golden, why are you forcing, mate? It's an eco with full USPs. No, no, no. Deeg armor, double Deeg in apartments, finds a third. That's just excellent work. And it, it certainly helps the Fnatic a full 5A stacked on that site as well. Heretics walk into the waiting arms. And well, now they've got some Deegs of their own. Can they do the dirty right back, though? Fnatic, they don't want to fall on day three of Cologne. They are here for the long haul. Crims heading under. That's a great shot. Are we going to flick it right back in the favor of the French? Let's see. JW getting dinked. Not like this. As Heretics look to make this one a bit of a mess as well. Flusher flashed into middle with another. And there's still one at top mid. Keo's going to fall back as his team enter the A bomb site. Maka can't cross though. The bomb. Oh, it will just about. We get stopped by JW in the window. And now, or CT rather. And now it is just Keo stuck in middle. A long way away from home in a one on four. Oh. Oh. Yep. Well, there you go. That's that one nice and over. Fnatic 2-1. They get that conversion. They deal with the four spy heretics. And now an easy third round waits in the wings for Fnatic, as it's only going to be vanilla pistols here for heretics. Now, I say that should be easy. If this uh, if this best of three is anything to go by, perhaps not, given that we've had so many of these, uh, these full ecos. But they're able to do a lot more damage than they should be allowed to get away with. I'm hoping that's not the case, though. As uh, Fnatic, they're looking for this 3 1 start. Nevera testing the water's image. He's decided, mm, maybe not us, what? Next mess, you go. Rollins anticipating the apps push. They, they've detected by now that's an eco. Okay. Okay, Golden. Yep, sure. 
Why not? Through the wall, he just spams down Keo, and if I'm Keo, I'm raging after that one, man. I'm not happy one bit. Heretic still sat up outside of the B site. They're not looking to commit. They're really looking to get as much out of this round as they can as they move down into the lower tunnels. Crims and JW left waiting in the wings here for this exact play to come in. And Crims should be a nice little stat pad Momo as JW helps out there as well from the window. That one swept under the rug as Fnatic go 3-1 up. I feel like JW needed those kills. He didn't need to get the kills for the team. Someone else could have done that for him. But he needs to get those rounds on the board. He needs to get those numbers. Yeah, right? Like, just as a nice little confidence booster, especially since on Inferno, like, we saw him missing some uncharacteristic shots. I think, I think you're bang on there, Frankie. And uh, now, immediately on the back of it, we see him purchasing up the AWP as well. He actually gets that dropped over by Flusher. So that's always good to see. He's going to be peeking in towards Ramp. Maka looking to get ahead of this Molotov. Oh, it's burning him, it's tickling him, and it's not in a good way. Flusher and Crims, they go aggressive, and they get rewarded handsomely for it. Massive advantage early, but still a commitment to the A site. No mid lurk here for Heretics. They're waiting on Lucky to come out the ramp, but Keo might just get spotted. Oh, he tucks in the corner. Flusher holding onto the palace. It's not going to be a free entry for Keo with two players hiding below the balcony. If you can get this opening kill, then Heretics can uh, speed up. In fact, Fnatic, they're not convinced. They're moving away. They're rotating uh, towards the CT spawn. Core still able to play retake here as one more man runs towards B. It's gone awfully quiet, and they don't think it's going to be the A site attack anymore. They are not correct in that assumption, but this is a standard setup, right? They're just 2-2, so they're absolutely fine when A eventually gets ruptured by Heretics. JW's waiting for that swing in Palace. Kyo's going to give it to him. Nevera spotted, that's the bomb as well. Another man is out onto the Tetris, yet to be seen, but it's not going to be too much of a guessing game. Oh dear, that molly, and no smoke for it. Flush has got to run, and he can't run fast enough. Nevera burns him out. There is a chance after all, especially with that missed shot from JW on the jiggle. Nevera, he's going to try and plant default. Good luck, buddy. There's like three men in CT, but no one's going to stop him. They kill him after the plant. That's still not a great spot for the French, especially not with one in the jungle who won't be able to stop the defuse from this position, but he might be able to catch some rotations. Yeah, lucky. Still waiting patiently. And there it is, the first kill, the reward, but they're already on the bomb. Keo, actually, they get off of it. Now tapping it again, Keo needs to take this peek and he decides against it. He lets them grab that defuse. So fourth round for Fnatic, locked in and guaranteed. Bomb plant and Keo surviving at least means he can drop an AK over. They still have full utility here and they still have rifles to play with in round number six. But I'm already getting a little bit scared. I think, you know, with Inferno being so dominant, the Fnatic we've wanted to see here at ESL1 Cologne is starting to come to life. And this is what we were talking about in the uh, in the pre-match segment where we kind of said it feels like the fire should be lit beneath Fnatic, right? Being up for elimination, you don't want to be the team that not only uh, got wrecked by Astralis on day one, but then lose in your second game versus a team that really you should be beating. And as that little... Uh, as that little sign here, never placed lower than, third, uh, than 12th at Cologne. And so if they did lose here, it'd be their worst ever placing. Ooh. That doesn't inspire too much confidence, no. though, in Heretics either, because, you know, that's not the kind of brand that Fnatic want associated with their Counter-Strike team. No, they used to win in Cologne, if we look at history, but... Yeah, even with the things being online, it's not stopping Fnatic. They're in control. They're 4-1 up on this third map. May have taken a while to get here, but they're not going to be letting it slip. Not now, not today. JW boosted up. Oh, no, that window Molotov. Crims has to smoke it out. JW is very far ahead, and he's going to hit the shot. Lovely stuff. He is looking far better than the previous two maps. Flusher in the connector. Lucky's waiting on the fade. This could favor him, but low HP and... Oh, Flusher. You know he knows. Lucky comes through, and Flusher's ready for it. He's going to get shot in the back from A as the site is lost. No one was even watching it. Crims is smoked off in the spawn. Can't do a thing about it, but oh, he sees the flash coming through, and he's able to take down Maka. Nice stuff. JW even set him up from CT as well. And Fnatic, two men up on the retake. Or not even retake. Bombs yet to go down. They're not waiting either for it to happen. They're just going to continue to push back in. It's all on CT now. Two players filtering out, and they will not let Keo get comfortable. I love that from Fnatic. 
back on nuclear, playing very, very safe in a lot of those situations on the CT side, giving heretics the room, giving heretics the respect. Well, no more of that. We're, we're back into El Clasico fanatic territory, Mirage, and just hunting down these kills. Heretics broke as well. No bomb plant, and so no buy. If we remember back on Nuke, XMS was having such a good game. He's off to a very quiet start here on Mirage. I feel like he is such a, a key ingredient within this game. And so we need to see more from him. We know what this guy can offer. We know what he's capable of. Through this smoke, he's going to try and lurk his way in. He's got Maka alongside him, but Crims, there we go, does get bested by the Deagle. Flusher follows up and now knows that there's another man in the connector. Flusher still fighting, trying Ooh. to deal with Lucky, but he can't quite overcome him. And so now we're into this three on three. The A-Site falls in favor of the Heretics, and while they are in the arm with these pistols, there's still a chance for them in this round, but they lose XMS. And so now Lucky and Keo, they've got to try and do the impossible here, armed with just these Deegs and that one M4. Can they somehow uh -oh. get a second? Oh, goodness. Good by Brolin. Another one. Basketball player in his spare time. And Golden coming in through CT. It's a clean round for Fnatic. Eh, well, you know, clean ending. They lose two. Not the cleanest of rounds, but still plenty of money when you look down that list. They're so rich. Oh, yeah, I, that round looked lost from the second the bomb planted because both players trapped in their positions. Fnatic had an HE and two Molotovs. They're pretty damn good with their utility. Of course, they're going to burn out these final players. Well, they don't need to. Brolin just dunks Keo off the site. Tries to move, tries to escape, but unfortunately, like a magnet, it appears right in his face. And Fnatic, another retake. Still a good round for Heretics, right? Low money, and they get a bomb plant. So now they reap the reward. Macker on the AWP. Fnatic have had enough of waiting around. They've pushed in lower this time. Two players there as well. So JW can actually watch Crimson's back as he sets up here. This does leave B susceptible to a rush, but Brolin uses his Molotov early, has plenty of utility to stop that exact fact. And JW, oh, strafing out wide, gets caught by XMS. More entries from the man you wanted, Harry. And Lucky is going to join him, receiving a dink from Golden, but getting so much control as a result. They even throw a deep jungle smoke and Lucky pushes through it. I love that. Brolin wasn't even considering that as an option. Flusher in CT flashed off the angle. It's aggression all across the map from Heretics. And they're going to reap the reward. Crimson a 1v5. All alone now. Plenty of money here for Fnatic. And so I hope we see Crims continue with what he's doing right now. Starting to move on in, and I don't think he's expecting to win the round, but he can certainly still make it expensive coming in on this palace flank. If he takes down, you know, like three players here, then this is worth it for Fnatic. It's only a second round for the Heretics, and it would set them up nicely in terms of the money. He will hold on, try and play for these exits. He hears players leaving. Is he going to try? Yeah, he's moving in now to do the damage. There it is. Maka Ooh. falls. That's the AWP taken away. That has to be grabbed by XMS, but he does get there in time. So it's not the end of the world. They only lose one man. A second on the board for Heretics and Fnatic still coming in with a buy. There's a world, Harry, not far from here where Crims can jump on that bomb if it was a bit closer and time a bit longer or shorter, I guess. Heretics, though, still finding their second and very quick entries into middle despite a double under setup and Golden getting taken down as the con smoke bloom. I, I do like Heretics. I just think they're really, really fun to watch when they get going on this T side, when they get those early smokes in. They love playing their spawns. They're doing it a lot on, uh, on Nuke as well. And right now, another timeout before they get back into the madness. Fnatic with six in a row, eventually broken. And so Heretics know the the importance of this follow-up round. This is crucial. They want to try and break Fnatic's money. It won't come easily, but it could come soon. Double AWP as well. Flash is going to be joining JW, and JW has that mid-spawn. So if he wants to fight Window or jump onto the catwalk, both of those are available to him. Oh, dude, it's a conga line. <laughs> Everyone's going for it. Double mid jump as well. Fnatic pushing in aggressive. JW very close, but he was flashed off. Flusher instead finds first blood towards that A site, peeking stairs to ramp and taking down Nevera. That's where all of Heretics remain outside of the A site. That one player in middle went back late. 
to stop Fnatic getting aggressive by throwing in that early flashbang. It's at least had that effect, right? Because JW could just have the top of mid right now and all of the info. Uh, because he doesn't, Fnatic have to run more of a standard setup. That's not really going to save Heretics here. They're wary of the flank. And if you notice, their utility is pretty bad. They have one smoke. XMS with the unorthodox double flash molly nade. I, don't know if you, I imagine he threw a smoke in mid and then bought the flash actually late out of spawn. So it's not that bad. Getting some more usage out of his money. Out the A ramp is the AWP. Flusher doesn't expect it so wide and he gets caught by Maka. Crims is trying to pick up the pieces here. Molly onto default. No one there. Fnatic have given up the A site. They're looking to stop Heretics from crossing into it. JW avoids that Molotov well. He should just be fine. If not, he's got a smoke to survive. One T-Smoke absolutely failed yeah, and has landed on the, the roof, the skybox. Yeah, that's never ideal. Will that come back to punish them, though? Hasn't out of the gate. The bomb's gone down and Heretics are now set up to try and hold on to this site. That nade is going to do a lot of damage. XMS eats it, bought down. But then Ooh. there's the response. Brolin, you throw a nade at me, I'll shoot you back. And the bullets do more. That molly forces Kiyoshima out into the open. Golden oh. over the head, and now Goomba stomping down. It's all on to Maka. 1v2. They tagged him. Smoke on the bomb. Maka, first oh. shot lands, and oh, oh, just missing the mark the second time around. Does land the no-scope to end it, but the defuse has already come in. Fnatic, they get number seven. That was millimeters away. That was so close to taking down Crims on the defuse, but close just doesn't quite cut it. And Fnatic will sneak the uh, defuse in the smoke up to seven now. Another pause for Heretics. They're getting uh, a lot of them out very early. Nothing wrong with that, but it, if this game does go the distance, we hit a 30 rounder, they're going to be left lacking. Oh. So close. I like the lanyards up on the wall. That's a nice touch. Yeah. That's something that I think a lot of esports folk have done. All been there. So, you know, you've got the passes to get you places, but now you've got to get yourself there, Heretics. They're uh, two rounds to their name right now, and that one just barely going against them. JW back with this off, trying to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Maka in middle. Flash is going out. JW holding for this cross. Lucky. And the rest of the gang moving in towards short. JW just gets away and is helped out by Golden. It is a symphony of death over towards short side. Golden comes back to help out even more and another dink from him. He has sent them packing out from the apartments. XMS is here, now naded down. That puts him in the one-shot realm of this M4. And that's him deleted by Brolin. Keo all alone, wondering how this went so, so wrong, so damn quickly. And with a minute and five seconds left, you know, even if he wanted to save, it's a long journey to get there. I'm not sure he would, right? It doesn't really make any sense at this point with loss bonus maxed on out. I'd love to do some damage, though, because Fnatic have accumulated quite the bank account. <laughs> All right, Flashy, yeah, flashy man. Yeah. He's hid, hiding in the boxes. Wedging himself in behind the flush is like a flush is like a spider man. Like it's like if your if your area is a little messy, he'll hide in amongst everything and rummage around and then give you a little nip when you least expect it. Got eight legs, way too many eyes. Horse. Web developer as well. Harry's terrified of him. All very good reasons. Oh, JW, and, and this is what we wanted as well coming into this third map, right? JW, very silent in the opening two of this series. It wasn't really an issue on Inferno, right? Like, you know, he, he gets the kills he needs. Nuke, I mean, no one had a good map except Golden. And here we go, JW, standing tall in the third and final where it matters most. <laughs> Not quite hitting the shot through the smoke as Heretics come up short. Need a re-smoke down here if they want to get past that. Yep, there it is. Lucky going to move forward first. It's a quick B-execute. we got two players towards the apartments for 
Fnatic Golden, oh yes, as they push through the Molotov, he catches them. One falls into his face, Brolin can't stop him, Golden has to hide. Brolin gets one, but traded immediately, and Golden overwhelmed by XMS. Maka is going to hit an orb shot nice and quick, and that will open up the bomb plant. Flasher and Crims, though. A duo as old as time itself, some say. Others, they don't say that. Flusher over here in the uh, the market, looking for a way in. Got his shopping list. He's checking it twice. And now I'm getting shopping confused with Santa. Nothing's going to get gifted to Fnatic in this round, though. Ooh. Ooh. He hears the footsteps. Flusher knows. But oh, knowing it's only half the battle, the other half of the battle is the battle. And that does not go his way. Yeah, Heretic salvaging, ooh, salvaging a third, starting to get back into the groove here on Mirage. But unfortunately, what has been the problem for Heretics is the lack of ability to build up money. I feel like they've had so many pistol rounds. They've never had back-to-back -back rounds in this map. They got the pistol, they got forced on by Golden and ecoed by the rest. One uh, a bomb part with that round where they get four out of CT and Crims finds one exit. So they made some money there. But other than that, it's been, yeah, by and large, rough. So it's important they try and follow up and keep things going smoothly. Very safely avoiding Flush's utility down ramp side. He's the only man in the site, and we've not seen Fnatic, you know, often play inside of A. They've been very sat, very much sat towards CT, stairs, connector, and playing retake, or more often than not, stopping Heretics from even crossing in the first place. So if Heretics go for proper jungle smokes and a real execute here, they first got to get past Flusher. It's not going to be the normal execute, though. Back to the connector smoke that hopefully will land this time. A molly close Balk, a better grenade than the last time, and Crims is setting up Flusher for a lot of damage here. There's the first man in. The flash is good, and Flusher is finding two before he falls. Crims even drops Lucky, trying to get aggressive towards the jungle, and Heretics, every A take has looked the same, it feels like. Like they've never gone for the standard smokes, and so Fnatic is just open to take every fight they want, and they win them too. Nine to three, and another instance where Heretics get one round and immediately reset. Luckily, they do have money for a rebuy thanks to keeping three alive, but that's going to be bottomed out pretty soon. Yeah, it's, it's kind of scary, right? Because the point that you made there that, that these A executes have all looked pretty much the same is is terrifying because you already see Fnatic is so much better poised. You know, they're not going to fall for the same execute twice. Uh, they already have players ahead of those smokes. They've got Crims lining up utility to let Flusher make these plays. In this round, though, Makazorp comes alive and has dealt with JW early on. Now the A play comes in and Flusher gets caught out in the open while Golden does deal with Maka. It's going to require a little bit more, and Crims has helped out by putting us back into even footing. A very lengthy flank coming in from Brolin, all the way through T-Spawn, from the B apartments, around the world. But Keo running in, gets the information. However, does lose his life in the process. Three on two, Nevera holding ramp, and oh, Brolin's jiggled. It doesn't matter, because he does end up headless. Lucky holding for this peak from Crimson, and while he does kind of check it, doesn't really. Lucky gets away with the frag. Golden left in a 1v1 clutch that should be impossible. Nevera mollied out from ramp, forced to take the peak, and he's going to land the shot. Four on the board for Heretics as they start to assemble a T-side here. Yeah, better late than never, right? Getting uh, getting on the board near the end of the half and after some back and forth rounds, starting to break Fnatic's money potentially. Uh, the unfortunate part is, you know, two rounds after the half, it's not like Fnatic are going to be, you know, having uh, having to eco a bunch of rounds here. And yeah, just forcing right back in. Double MP9, Scout on Crims. It's honestly not that bad. It's something that Fnatic can make work. What can't they make work? Oh, XMS, I like this. Quick out the ramp, but no worry for Golden. Flashed out, still hits the shot. Crims unscopes as they peak ramp. He's going to hit a tag. That really softens up these players for the SMG and the nade to follow. Maka getting a kill, and it's really on him and Keo to do the heavy lifting now. Crims is waiting to finish the job, and he will do so onto Keo. JW finding Maka into a smoke and dropping into the sandwich. He takes a bite out of Nevera. 
Fnatic up to 10. Uh, there we go. Uh, just continuing the streak carry. Heretics, four rounds. None of them back to back. Fnatic immediately respond. And I feel like we're seeing so many A executes, so many fast ramp plays for Heretics. It might be what they, they're used to and they like to fall back on, but Fnatic having no issue dealing with it. And due to its consistency, Fnatic have just been running heavy A setups all CT side long. Heretics, last round of the half here, last chance saloon, and two AKs is all they can muster for this buy. It's looking like a B split with the bomb coming up short. They're actually going into under, and hello, it's JW finding one. That's at least a gun gifted to some of these weaponless players who will drop in and grab it. That's Keo. Crim's finding Nevera at the top of middle, though, and immediately swapping sides of the connector. XMS not offering himself up for much, but Golden loses his life. Uh, one by one, it's just trades from Fnatic. They're so good at getting away with them. Heretics left a man down. It just feels like Fnatic needed a reminder of not only who they are, but what they're up against as well. Like everything has looked so much better since Inferno. That nuke game, a long distant memory. The bomb was dropped over at short. Crims is waiting for this peak from XMS. And Keo gonna drop down. Brolin's heard that. Brolin's not the kind of guy you want hearing things. You know, the pistol rounds for this team, but unfortunately, uh, this kind of scoreline, they matter more than ever. And Fnatic are not waiting around. They are not hiding. They are fast, jumping across the stairwell, right into the jungle. I love this pistol round for Fnatic. XMS is looking for fights. Nothing getting presented. Crims with a very open plant. And the stars have just aligned here for Fnatic as they have incredible post plants for this pistol. Yeah, even though XMS deals with Crims, right? The bomb planter, you got to worry about all these players in connector and jungle. They cover this rotation of Keo as well. He is trapped. So right now, the remaining four trying to get in through CT. Flusher waiting up in Palace. This man, the Prince of Fnatic, trying to do oh. it all, but he gets tapped out. Golden, they're on the bomb. They're sticking it. Someone needs to find it, and they're going to, but Heretic's got the defuse. That is so damn close. Somehow, Whoa. the Frenchman get a fifth on the board. They win the round, but like kind of also not. They lose everyone. They just <laughs> grab it by sticking the defuse. That is weird. That is yeah. weird. Look, look at that. Look at the timing. Look at how quickly he dies after the defuse comes in. Boom. Barely catch it. That is incredibly good for Heretics. And I mean, everyone else is taking fights, jumping on top of the boxes, being in the open. Fnatic are taking the free and easy kills while they got them and not focusing on the defuse because they can't see it. That's a great pistol for Heretics. I, I like the idea from Fnatic, right? Really good post parts. It's just how quick Heretics grouped in that CT spawn and burst out into the site. They knew exactly what was going on. They weren't fearful. And Lucky, he's going to get dint immediately. We know that Fnatic have been great on these four spies when they do lose the pistol. Think about the first half. Heretics won the opening T-side pistol. Fnatic won with four USPs and one Deagle. Golden, it was him to find three kills. And this time it's Flusher getting the opener with a scout. Maka dead in the water and Heretics a man down. Oh no, look at B. Oh dear, Nevera is here alone. And if they do come this way, talk about a trial by fire. Keo down here towards ramp. It looks like Fnatic are gearing up for an A play and that would leave them walking into this stack. So. Flusher getting spotted there, still at ramp with this scout. But while this is happening, Brolin up through connector with this AK, dodges the flash, and now he knows that Keo is under Palace. Kiyoshima is surely about to get dethroned here, what? but XMS, the bodyguard, the royal guard, has come in and saved the day with a double. Even then, the dink down range into connector. Here comes Nevera, the cleanup crew, does get bested by Crims. Woo. But he's the only man left in a sea of Heretics players. Crims, bomb on his back. He was going to try and run the gauntlet into B, hoping that that baits Keo in. And while it does, it should be the end of the line for Crims. 10 seconds left. Time turning against him. And XMS going to lock in the round for Heretics. They get that sixth in spite of having to play that round four on five from the get-go. Yeah, he swaps out the MAC-10 for an MP9. It has the same ammo. So it's not really, it's not really saving him there. He had uh, more seconds than bullets. Only just. Oh, nice opening kill for Flusher, but it's XMS. Like you said, the bodyguard, he absolutely saves his teammates as Keo's about to get cleared under. Brolin had spotted him, but he can't shoot him down. And XMS, that one M4 does everything they needed to do. He's now upgraded onto the AK. A well-earned weapon.
Nice grenade combined with the spam. Lucky finds JW in the middle. And Fnatic, not fully forcing, just with some pistols and utility, are setting up towards A with smokes. Looking for a bomb plant here. And Heretics, they don't want to allow it. They want to deny it. They want to get past this utility. Keo running them down. Doesn't see Brolin jump up onto the Tetris. So many flashbangs and so many frags all in the favor of Fnatic. XMS needs to hold strong. He needs to stay alive. 10 HP and finally dies. It's Flusher faking the plant. Lucky will... Oh, won't spam back. I guess he sees that he's off it. And now the CT smoke fades. It's so close. He gets the kill right as the plant comes in. Crims has a chance. Can Crims finish what Brolin and Flusher have started? He's down here towards ramp. Doesn't know the whereabouts of Nevera. That's the one question mark right now. Two smokes and a Molotov as well make things even more tricky. Four Crims oh, smoke down on the bomb. The bomb's not even planted for him. They tap it, and Crim swings out and gets dealt with. Defuse coming in. Nevera on it. Doesn't have the kit, but he's got time. A M4 dropped back by Lucky, being a good teammate and everything. Seven on the board for Heretics, and so still a chance. Brolin does a great job in that round there. Two with the P250, and then while being 10 HP trapped in Sandwich, he even gets a dink onto this player at triple. Such a such a great player. Like it's mind blowing how good Brolin is and how consistently good he is at that. Yeah, how do Fnatic make that eco so interesting, right? Especially like when that was a very telegraph play. There were a man down, the smokes go into A, and you know, instantly her heretics go, Yeah, we're not letting them plant, we're not letting them get control, and start to take fights with SMGs. Fnatic just domed them. Oh dear, it's not getting better. Golden burn, uh, burns to a crisp after spraying down two in mid. Maka will respond, keeping things even and falling back into the site. No reason to overplay your hand at middle. You've already traded fairly. JW has pushed in through B and oh, Keo, he's got his eyes on this. Oh dear, JW fires a bit early and not ready for the second either in a three on three. I don't blame him. Keo is still going to hold the B site and that rotate from Maka is not convinced as Fnatic. No one follows. No one goes further into B. It's just that lurk. And so back to middle, an area where heretics have no info. And due to Maka's early rotation, he doesn't know whether or not Fnatic have the A site already. He has to play very passive indeed, and they are expecting the A take, considering Kyo has pushed up aggressively. This is going to come back to haunt them. Oh no, Mac is watching CT for like a window boost, and even though he's got the right site in mind, Kyo is going under to middle. Fnatic are going to get a free bomb plant here in all the time in the world to establish post plants. It almost feels too good to be true. There's no one on the site, you say? I don't believe it. There's so many spots to hide in B, the bench, the car, the market, the apps, and Fnatic, yeah, they're going to fake it. They're not going to be convinced at the first drop, and that's going to give time for Heretics to set up and maybe catch them off guard from the extremities. Yeah, Keo's just missed the timing onto Brolin. Flusher needs to have his wits about him. Keo Ooh. around the corner is dealt with him. Brolin now in the clutch. This guy, oh, wow. nailed by Kiyoshima. An eight on the board for Heretics. Maybe there's still a chance yet. This was an 11-4 first half from Fnatic after a blowout victory on Inferno where it felt like Heretics never even had a chance. Well, now the plucky French squad starting to get rounds under their belt and starting to make this game feel doable. Let's not forget, the loser of this game is eliminated from ESL One Cologne. Yeah, joining big number one team in the ESL world ranking right now, and they went first on the third day in a grueling game after a 54 round map and nuke taking on NIP. And they fell short, where well, one team has to follow as well. That round was a definition of too good to be true for Fnatic, they didn't believe it couldn't trust their own eyes. Now they're going to go back to the A-take. No one inside of the site. Mac has got that AWP again, posted up on CT. Fnatic flooding out the ramp. Look at the grenade damage. And Maka, he fires off even more, taking the first kill. Roland's looking for a way out. He doesn't want to die through this smoke, and so he does manage to elude death. Now, they fall back. They take these very passive positions, but there's so much utility on Heretics. You have to try and take at least one or two fights here to whittle some of that down, and Golden offers up a frag on the back of it. He retreats into this four-on-four post-plant hold at Ramp and Palace. Fnatic, they've got to do the impossible now with the smoke falling down at Ramp. One on the bomb as well. This is going to make matters very awkward. XMS 
There's one. Brolin with the response. Oh, Flusher smoke down, but he shoots through. Nevera in the clutch, but he's delivered a double as well. Now on the bomb, Crims up through ramp, and he might arrive just in time. Oh, dear. He gets him off of it. 12 rounds for Fnatic. Everybody dies, but the Swedes just about get that round. Onto the tally, my word. Oh, Flush's Palace Lurk it is saving Fnatic in some of these rounds. It, it, it almost does it on the pistol. If you remember, we had a very similar situation to what just went down, except with a lot less utility. Flusher gets domed. This time he doubles up, spraying one through the smoke and crims. He had to hit that shot. Low HP on Nevera after finding a double. But Fnatic, they are just going to edge their way to victory lane. And only just. Look at the money. It is garbage. They've had to buy up three SMGs in a Galil. Team Heretics forced by right back in. They've got nothing else but pistols. Dear, oh dear. This could be Fnatic starting to really streak together some T-sided rounds. It was four in a row to start this half, but Fnatic break the curse. AW getting boosted. Oi, oi. And actually, he might have just heard that rotate. Maka just ran from window to market. So as long as JW has prickly ears, maybe he knows how much control he's just been given. This B-split can come through with a third prong on the attack right through the back. JW's got this round locked in. Just on this position alone, surely. Heretics aren't even considering it. They, don't, they, they have no idea. This is a double for JW waiting to happen. J double trouble. Here he is inside of the B site. Might not even be needed. Where are they? Oh, there's one. There we go. That's nice and free. Oh, oh, oh. Ah. There we go. Yeah, gets it. Just like we knew his wood. Nice and clean. Classic JW. Bomb planted over in B. Fnatic taking a 13th round. This this four spy from Heretics. Not only does it not give them any kind of result to go off of, but it sacrificed their buys looking at the future, which at this scoreline, that really could be detrimental here to Heretics in this third and final map of this elimination best of three. And Fnatic, as Fnatic often do, hunting down these kills, trapping them in the ramp and palace area. Oh, Golden's got one. Lucky stuck in palace low, and XMS is on the ramp. Now, JW can pick one of the two options, or just cut off both of them by staying in this position, letting his team fan out. Golden's pushed close, there's XMS gone, and Lucky might be unlucky in this round. It's JW not letting him save a thing, and Fnatic not just five alive, but five dead for the Frenchman. There is just no money there at all. They've got to give yeah. away 14. No, that's luckily saved for the Orc. That's Fnatic, like, gearing themselves up for the win, right? Yeah. They, they know the importance. Even though it's only a couple of Deegs and armor, it still gives... Uh, heretics like a, a fighting chance and, a, and, and another go at that round that they just attempted yeah. there, right? You deny them that, you guarantee, or at least you should have guaranteed this 14th round, and at which point they are on the finish line. Just USPs for heretics up against this scoreline. That is devastating. With their lifeline here at Cologne now called into question. Crims at ramp. Has Flusher throwing flashes over to facilitate this peak. Ooh. Almost gets timing there, but Crim's not deterred by the man at stairs, and in fact gets a bit of revenge for the love tap that XMS put down range. They collapse into the A site, and even though there were five players here for Heretics now, they're getting made quick work of. And this is it. This is the lifeline. This is your tournament. Heretics, what could be your final full buy of Mirage and the series? It's going to rely on the Orb of Maka, echoing on that force buy round to facilitate this. We've got guns, we've got utility, we've got those kits. And those are necessary considering the, the defuses in the smokes that have, you know, netted Heretics two rounds. Fnatic setting up with a bomb towards B. We've got two players outside of A. It looks like a bit of a fake sell. We've got the two MAC-10s here as well. Fnatic have such a lead, they can afford to throw uh, a bit of caution to the wind, take a couple of gamble rounds. It seems like the classic, okay, guys, we fake A, we rush and die, and then when they rotate, you go B with a bomb. Is it that simple, though, as the smokes are cooled off for the time being? And will Heretics fall for it as well is a big question. Mac has cleared out the top of middle, but I doubt he's going to push any further than this with the Orb. That would be a massive risk and to very little gain. Pick a site and gamble with it. 
and back towards short side could be the right call. But I imagine the second these smokes come down, Heretic's probably very jittery right now, very worried, and it might over-rotate. Ooh, one of the smokes coming out from Golden. He throws it from the B Apartments to the top of Connector. Or stairs, even. Wow, this is a proper execute from Fnatic. I wonder if Heretics are going to fall for it. Do they see the trajectory of the smoke? Nivera is not buying it. Neither is Kiyoshima. Here comes the utility. And Mac is still for the third support AWP on B. Yeah, they've read this well. Nevera holding down this B site single-handedly almost. JW does get the better of it, but that's where Maka's AWP chimes in. Crims, the only man left, isn't ready for a second player under Palace. Lucky, concealed by the smoke, has got the round dead to right. So Heretics, a ninth on the board, and as well orchestrated as that fake was, they do not move a muscle. Yeah, I'd love to see the perspective because I always wonder when teams do that, uh, you know, how much info the CT is getting, right? Nevera from the car, I'm almost certain he can see that smoke come over the B apartment and, and, and go in towards A. And at that point, if you see that smoke, you know what's going on. You know it's a fake smoke. And regardless of the other two bits of utility out ramp, the bomb is B, he gets the info, he sticks, and no one from Heretics even budged after the util. So they were very confident there and good awareness. Unfortunately, JW is very quick on that. At all. Lucky's happy though. He gets his hands on it. He loves like donning this AWP every now and again. Crim's over in the B apartments and Nevera is trying to get aggressive. This push makes or breaks the round and utility out in his hands. He was looking to smoke the choke point, but already there was a choker in the smoke point. So now Keo and Lucky two on five trying to keep the Cologne dream alive. They're split apart from one another. They're not in this A site, which is where this play is looking to end up with Brolin being so damn deep. Crims still over at B, does get dealt with by Kiyoshima, but all that does for Fnatic is solidify that A is the place they want to find themselves at. It's a 15th round. Heretics is certainly saving here. This is all they're bringing with them up against match series and elimination point. I wouldn't speak too soon, Harry. No, and Fnatic, they might even hunt down some of these players, at least send JW on a bit of a lurk. He has that orb, but if he posts up here in B, you can already see that Keo's getting aggressive and maybe to his own detriment. JW waiting, and there we go. Another one dead. Just lucky left, and at this point, Fnatic can just leave one dude with the bomb and try and hunt down this AWP. They don't know it's the orb. He's not fired a shot with it, but the AR seem pretty sure it's on the B site and Brolin baiting shots. He's been legged. That's all he cares about. Oh, He's going to re-peek back in and close the round. That's devastating. The AWP taken away. The leg hits, but when you don't kill Brolin the first time around, he'll get you back all right. I'm, I, you know, it's such a shame to see Heretics fall here. Yeah, all you can do is laugh at that point. It is a shame to see Heretics fall, right? There's so many teams I wanted to see more from that we don't really get the opportunity to. But uh, unfortunately, that's a cutthroat, a cutthroat format. Lose two and you're out. But on the other side of the coin, it's great to see Fnatic have a resurgence. After we saw them get decked on Nuka, I was a little worried. I want Fnatic at Cologne, and they're here to stay. Ooh, XMS. Down three ramp like a speed demon, takes the head off of Brolin, but Fnatic are quick to get out of there. They leave it in the more than capable hands of Flusher just to stick around. XMS is looking for the gun, but I think that nade is just blowing it away. So a dual purpose nade from Flusher. Bomb now over towards the apartment. It's going to get retrieved by Crims and Fnatic. If they do just commit to a B play, they're moving in to a site with just one man on it. They pump the brakes. They slow it right down. JW in the apartments has Golden behind him and only Nevera here to hold the B bomb site. He's got to do it all single handedly and now single headedly as he goes down. JW posted up to deal with Keo at short side. The utility is a dead giveaway that there's a man here. Keo trying to catch the timing, but he can't find it and he does catch a bullet for his woes. XMS for. Oh dear. It's lucky rather, and XMS last to go down. 